Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do cross tabulation in R. I'm going to take a data set. So, here is the uh, data set. Let's have a look at the data. So, this is how the data looks like. It has got uh, information about the cells of different cars. So it has got uh, models, types, origin, and so on. So, we'll take a few of these uh, columns and we'll do cross tabulation. Alright, so we'll attach the data because this is the data that we're going to use. Okay, so how do we do cross tabulation? A simple cross tabulation will look uh, like this. We use the table function and uh, we'll use, let's say, you know, two of these variables for cross tabulation. Okay, we use type and uh, the number of cylinders. So, cylinder is a column here, which has got, uh, you know, the number of cylinders a car has. So, we'll cross tabulate the type of the car and the number of cylinders it has. All right, so let's uh, run this. Okay, and let's see how the cross tabulation looks like. So this is how the cross tabulation looks like. You have a type in the rows and number of cylinders in the column. And what you see here is the number of cylinder for each type of the car. So that's how you will get in the output. Okay, but how, what if you want in terms of the percentage, right? In not in terms of the number or the count, rather in terms of the percentage. How you do is simply use the proportion, so prop dot table. Okay, so the function is, is simply uh, a bit different, um, <coughs> and then you will get in terms of proportion. So that's how we get it, right? Now we do not have the counts, but uh, it is in terms of uh, percentage or proportion. If you uh, add them up, they, it will it will be hundred percent, okay? And uh, you know it's useful also. You can also do cross tabulation uh, with more than two variables, okay? So how we do that? So we'll use a function called f table, okay? First we'll use table function. So the same syntax that we had used here. It's just that now we have another uh, variable, the third variable. Now we have three variables. Cross tabulating, you know more than two variables is not very common um, because it's a bit difficult to um, understand the outcome uh, it's, it's not that you know I, I, instead you know you can in, you can go for more visual form of uh, analysis rather than cross tabulating but if in case you want to do you can certainly do it so this is how you do it you first uh, use the same syntax uh, the table function and then you use the function f table um, Okay, and this is how it looks like. Uh, okay, let me run again. Okay, so this is how it looks. As I've said, it's slightly difficult to interpret. So you have type, okay, and then you have cylinder. So if you see here, let me show you. So it starts with type, and in type you have you know different type. You see here hybrid. Uh, sedan, sports car, SUV, trucks, wagon and so on and for each type you have the number of cylinders and then the country of origin. So origin is the you know the third variable we just added. Okay so for type hybrid so these are the cylinders the number of cylinders okay and then for each type of cylinder how, uh, the country of origin okay so that's how you you tabulate uh, with more than you know three variables. Uh, sorry, two variables. <coughs> okay, we can also use the xtabs function. So uh, there is already a function called xtab in R, which also can be used. Slightly different. The syntax looks more like you know a linear regression syntax. Um, so here is the syntax. You can see here. So we have xtabs function, and then we give the num uh, the variables for which you want cross tabulation. Okay. And you can interchange by the way, okay, so you know um, you can interchange the, the the variable names in the in the function uh, and then obviously you will get slightly different uh, outcome um, right if you want type to be in the column cylinder to be in the rows, then just interchange their places you know, it's going to be uh, okay so so let's run this. Alright, so this is how you uh, we started with, right? We started with uh, the table function and we got it. So, xtab also can be used, and xtab can also be used for you know 
uh, three variables okay so let me use origin here so simply add plus and then origin and let's uh, run this code now you see it's a by three by three uh, cross tabulation okay so exactly how we got it using table function but you can also use the cross x tabs functions to you know get the same results thank you so much